Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a video showing you how to render an intro template that you have which requires you to open up Cinema 4D and After Effects. So I found um, a really nice intro template online and here it is. Um, if you don't have WinRAR then I'll put a link in the description for WinRAR. Most intro templates um, come in a WinRAR file so you'd need to extract that using WinRAR or something else. But um, first of all you just want to get the raw file and extract it to wherever you want I've already extracted mine the, this is why the files are here uh, these are the files that have came out of that WinRAR file so um, you have one you have a After Effects file you can drag it and a Cinema 4D file so these are the main things that you'll be using to edit your intro template so the first first of all you want to open is the Cinema 4D file I'm gonna open that one So, one, so now you have your intro template open in um, Cinema 4D. This is where you edit your text. So I'll just quickly show you to do that. I'm going to change that to tutorial. Uh, like so. There are three texts to change. Tutorial. I hope I'm spelling this right, God. Anyway, once you've got your, your three texts done, well, my, mine needed three texts anyway. So I've got my three texts done. I'm gonna just play. It. That's how it'll look. Well, no, that's not how it'll look. This is how it will look. The text anyway. I can't be able to change the font because I'm wasting too much time. Anyway, um, once you have that done, you want to now click on this one, Edit Render Settings, that tab. Open it up. You can change the settings to whatever you want, 1080p if you're recording 1080p and 720p if you're recording 720p. I'm just going to keep it at 720p, I'm not going to change anything at the moment, just um, this is just speed up the process. So, uh, re uh, 72 resolution and the frame rate is 30, if you're uploading to YouTube it will only um, get put out at 30 frames per second anyway, so there's no point raising it if you're not uploading, if you're only uploading to YouTube. Um, put 30 FPS, change the save file location, so let's click on those three dots. Save it to wherever you want, I'm just going to save mine to the desktop, and it's going to be called Tutorial. Save, and you want to change the format to QuickTime Movie. If, this is if you don't have um, that H.264 option, because I don't. I um, just want to click on H, uh, QuickTime Movie and then you're all good to go so you want to then render it out by clicking the middle one ready render to picture view and click that it'll start rendering and once it's finished it can take up to like five to what an hour five to five minutes to an hour so i'm not going to render it out as or i already have um, a backup one so i already have a render file complete so i'm just going to exit out this once yours is done you'll notice it's done because none of this there'll be no loading at the bottom no green it'll just be plain so you just want to exit out, out that click uh, if you want to stop it yes i don't want to do it anymore so i'm going to exit out this because you don't need to be in cinema 4d anymore so click no <laughs> um i already have i'll show you where my um backup one is uh, intro already this is the render one You'll notice that there's no audio. That's where After Effects comes in. So that's the the um, text all rendered out. Looks sweet already. Um, so now you want to open the After Effects file. So I'm just gonna open up After Effects. My After Effects is running quite slow, guys, today. So. Oh, it's fine, I guess. Um, you want to hit File. Open project, click the After Effects file, open it up. I don't care. Go, go. There we go. And if you come over to the left side, you'll notice that there's a file missing. There's like no image, and the file that you rendered out in Cinema 4D, that's where this the, the, um, the footage has to be replaced. So it's when to right click, replace the footage with the Cinema 4D file. This was the correct one. Import, and there you go, guys. 
you have um, your intro now complete. There's the one final step and that is rendering it out. So if you want to listen to your um, intro with the audio playback, so you can hit RAM preview on the right side. It will play the intro with the audio, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Um, uh, to render, you, all you have to do is click on... I'm quite new to this guy, so I'm learning at the same time, really. Uh, add to render queue. And now go down to render settings. Click on best settings. You can edit them if you want, but just by double clicking. I'm just going to keep mine as that, 720p. Uh, output module. You want, if you can't render in H.264, just make your own custom one. If you have H.264 available, then go for that one. But if you don't, just go down to QuickTime Movie. I mean, not QuickTime Movie, QuickTime. And then click on Format Options. And then you want to go down to H.264. Uh, you don't need to touch anything here. Just make sure that the quality is bumped up to 100, so you get the best quality. And then your channel should be RGB, depth, millions of colors, color, pre-multiplied, if I said that right, I hope so. Uh, you can resize it if you want to, I'm not going to. And then if you record with, I mean, if you're rendering with uh, audio, which I assume most people will be, uh, you just want to click on audio output on to make sure that the audio is, audio is rendering with it. And then hit OK, and I think you're all good to go. Oh, you have to change the output to every time, I think, anyway. Uh, you can just call it whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. Save it to wherever you want. Hit save. And then click render. And then you render out your intro template. So, anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I've showed you ha um, how to render an intro template in Cin Cinema 4D and After Effects. So, if you have any problems, just drop a comment below. I should be soon to get around to helping you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's been 2X Gingers. Peace out.